California, I urge you to stand with drivers and vote no on Proposition 22 in November. Here we have Juan Valdeviso, right? He knows what laws are in place since January the 1st, 2020. It's called AB5. It was written into law by California. But this guy thinks he's above the law. This guy thinks he can circumvent the law. This guy thinks he can keep on misclassifying us drivers, denying us our health rights, putting us down, and not giving us a voice. California, stand with me and vote no on Proposition 22. And let's expose these disgraced Uber attorneys and counsel that keep on making drivers a life a misery while they take big paychecks. 100% pure evil, not following the law books, right? That's number one. You bailed them out to the tune of $413 million during the pandemic because they would not pay into the system because they thought, this guy and his gang thought they were above the law, right? Just yesterday it was announced that they formed a non-profit, a legal identity, and sent millions and millions of yes on Proposition 22 mailers to your doorstep, right, through the United States Postal Services. And by forming this non-profit, they had you, the taxpayer, pick up their advertising mailing fees. This is the audacity, the cheek that Juan and his gang have, right? We got to knock them out in November. We got to vote no on 22. I am so sick and tired on how these people have been treating millions of drivers over the years. I'm a voice for drivers. I represent the drivers. They are running $200 million worth of ads, right? And in those ads, you may want to look at those people. Those are paid Hollywood actors. Those are not real drivers, right? And in their 25-page Yes on Prop 22 proposal, you know, once you read that, you understand that the driver will never, ever see money and that they will keep on feeding their greed, right? They wrote the proposition with their $200 million. In fact, it's up to $220 million now. Back in the day in 2006, Big Pharma, um, the oil companies, and tobacco spent a maximum of 95 to $105 million. Uber has thrown $230 million to buy your vote. I'll tell you something else, California. They have their patents and their company registered offshore so that they don't have to pay any taxes into the system, right? They use your bridges, they use your highways, they use your roads, they use your streets, but they pay zero into the system, right? They um, have you, like I said before, bail them out during the pandemic. Don't bail them out any further. And Juan, when you're out there knocking on law firm, new law firms' doors because you've abandoned the sinking Titanic, right? Just ask law firms, hopefully you have some morals, ethics, and values, and send these people back out onto the street. Thank you.